a clean heart reading from scripture psalm 51 verse 10 create in me a clean heart o god and renew a steadfast spirit within me through the past few days we have been looking at different conditions of the heart today we look at a condition that is most precious to god which is a clean heart in our world around when there is a lot of emphasis on good and acceptable behavior out, outward behavior and external actions here we are called in god's word to have a heart of purity to have a clean heart and not just outward actions so it's not just enough to clean up our acts it is important to look inside our hearts we see how god reminds the prophet samuel when he went to anoint a king he sees the oldest son eliab and sees him as fit enough to be king but god says that god had rejected him because he was not looking at the appearance and god was interested in the heart of a man the verse highlighted today of psalm 51 is in itself david's prayer to god it is after his sin of adultery, deception, and murder. The, this entire psalm reveals penitent confessions and a plea for God's mercy over David's life. David's repentance of his sin had caused him to take stock of, the inward, of his own inward thoughts, which had led him to confess his need for a clean heart. As we learn from David, we learn that our hearts are deceitful and desperately wicked and sin is always crouched inside of it. Our hearts reflect a sinful nature and thus we are in need to have it cleansed. So what are two things that are highlighted in this verse? The first thing is that the prayer goes to God. It says, create in me a clean heart, O God. So God is the only one who can regenerate our hearts and give us a newness to it. The word create refers to a divine act of making something exist that never existed. So we understand that our hearts are sinful, it is so broken, it's so warped that it, it just does not need a readjustment but it needs a complete makeover. We need for God to speak and to create in us the hearts that we are supposed to have. It's an inward work of grace and only what God has done through the work of Jesus Christ. The second thing that it emphasizes is a clean heart. The emphasis is not on the circumstances or not on the situation. David does not make an emphasis on, on the sin that he has done, but he looks and the focus is on his heart. The regeneration has to happen in the heart. So how does God give us a clean heart? First of all, the cleansing of our hearts comes from the confession of our sins. When we bring to God in true repentance all our wickedness, God promises to give us a clean heart. As it says in 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all righteousness. So it takes our willingness to come before God and bring everything that has displeased him so that he can move on our behalf to give us a clean heart. Let us allow God to create in us a clean heart and let us take the time to repent before him. Let's pray together. Father God, we come before you. We confess that we have been sinful, that our hearts have been unclean. Just like David prayed, we pray that you will create in us a new heart, a steadfast spirit in us, so that we could glorify you and honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.